In this video I will show you how to update your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra to One UI 7. One UI 7 is the newest version of Android for Samsung Galaxy devices and it includes Android 15. So this is going to be the version update from Android 14 to Android 15 for Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I was checking many times to see if there is a new update and there was no update and to check for updates you go into the settings and then you find the software update page on the software update page you can choose to automatically download over wi-fi and here i have the option to download and install and i post this update to show you how the process works so it's one ui 715 and this is the samsung android 15 version for Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, this was a bit delayed, but usually for S24 Ultra or S25 Ultra, you will have the One UI much faster. But for S23 Ultra, it took a bit of time. And these are the specifications of the update, One UI 7.0, Android 15, and this is the actual version. So if you are interested in seeing this, and the size is 5 giga. The size is 5 gigabytes and the security patch level is 1st of April, so I will resume the download to have it ready while I show you the key features here, there are options, so make complex tasks simple with Gemini, so Gemini will be more integrated into the Samsung phones instead of Bixby. You can transcribe and summarize calls, listen to web pages summaries, which might be a pretty good option. You can use Writing Assist to help you write and edit, remove unwanted sounds with audio eraser from videos, I guess, and uh, I don't know exactly. And this now brief, I'm not so sure, I'm not so sure I like the idea of this option now brief. Sounds like articles and lots of things I might not want to see. Customize your apps and widget styles, make folders big, stay on top of important tasks with the now bar group your alarms smooth zoom slider added for videos ah that's nice so you can zoom in smoothly like on the iphone save exposure settings for each mode that's nice unlock editing options with log video i don't know if anyone would really want that okay so the update is ready i will still go to the key features perfect lightning with exposure monitors okay auto trim videos i wouldn't want to use this option i think easy connect with nearby devices that's a nice option that's a nice option to connect to nearby devices and use your pc use your phone as a pc webcam camera share lets you use your powerful camera in the samsung phone as a camera okay so you have the option there we will look at this maybe later Access phone files from the PC. I guess you could do that already. Maybe this camera option also. So the update is ready and I will press install. The phone is charging and the battery is kind of low, actually 28%. But I have the charger plugged in. Normally I would set it, I would start this at 50% at least. But because the charger is plugged in, I guess. What I could do, I could use a faster charger, so maybe I'll do that now. Fast charging, okay. So now I have the Xiaomi power bank connected. Now it's time to start the install. And this is going to take a while. It's 5 giga. This is a big update from Android 14 to Android 15, so this is going to take a while. I don't think it's a good idea to try to use the phone while it's doing the updates. It's better to let it finish and be patient. If, if you think the phone is in a boot loop, it keeps rebooting. Don't try to force it to do anything, let it finish. So now it's restarting, the phone is restarting. This should take a while, be patient, keep the phone plugged in. So the phone is charging, you see it charging and it's connected to the power bank fast charger even though it was low on battery i wanted to start it now to record the video for you so i have also the phone updated 
So we will watch the progress bar go to 100%. Getting closer to 100%, but I I know it will be the last thing. Let's see, maybe it is. Start fast. So we're getting closer. Now it's going to reboot and continue with the update or go straight to the home screen. It would either go straight to the lock screen or continue with the update. It did two reboots here. It did one reboot, then another reboot. So if it's doing this, don't panic, don't worry. If it's doing this, don't worry. It's normal. Updating from Android 14, One UI 6.1 to Android 15, One UI 7. And hopefully this is not going to be a boot loop now. I hope not. Okay, that seems like another up, another restart. I don't know. Let's see. It did few updates, so don't worry if you see a few updates. This is normal. And okay, now it's optimizing apps. It's going to be ready to start soon. So after this, we will see the lock screen right now. That was pretty quick actually. Five giga. 5 gigabytes for the update and it's already optimizing apps and it's ready to install but I think it's going to do some background tasks while it's finishing the update so I enter the pin of the phone and it's still doing things okay welcome to One UI 7 the power bank is still plugged in and it's already at 30% power is 30% and I like this welcome screen welcome to One UI 7 and let's start I like the colors this so we have Galaxy AI lots of options here and I'm not sure if I want to use this Could press next I'm not sure if I agreed to something doing that and yeah now the Samsung phone has Gemini by default. So press and hold the side button to access Gemini. You might want to change the option for the side button to a power button, but it's up to you. So that's going to be Gemini instead of Bixby. You have the quick settings. Okay. And you can see what's new. Let's see what's new. It should have some information. And this is the same information that we saw before. And let's go to the home screen and see how the home screen looks like in One UI 7. And you know it's updated to One UI. If you go into the settings, oh, the icons are different. They change the icons. They change them a little bit. You can go to the about phone. In about phone, you press software information. Under the software information page, you see One UI 7, Android version 15. Google Play system update is 1st of February, so this might need to be updated. And then the baseband version, build number, all this inf extra information. All this extra information. So the Google Play system, it's, it needs to be updated. So this might have to do a few restarts. Android version 15, 1st of February. Let's check for updates. Okay, so it's 1st of February. I don't know if it's okay or no. That's it. It's, uh, up, it's up to date. In the same settings app, I can check for updates again if I wanted to. Just to make sure that maybe there, if you skip an update, if you don't update immediately, it might even have another update available, ready to install. So I could check here. I go into the software update menu and then auto download is set to Wi-Fi. And if I press download and install, it should say it's up to date. So now it says security patch level. This is for the One UI, not for the Play Store. But the, the system is updated and I could try to use the camera and the camera still works. That's great. Okay. 
you have all the mods, the 10x, everything works as it should. So if you notice your phone might be a little bit slow for a while, this is going to be because maybe the phone needs to finish some updates. So you have here, they change the way they show you notifications. Like on the iPhone, you have notifications when you pull from the center or the right side and the quick settings from the, so from the right side is quick settings and the left and center is notifications like on the iPhone. And that's notifications here. And I could choose the quick settings. So these are these are the quick settings right here. And that's notifications and quick settings. I like the icons. I think they are more interesting now. The settings icon and the camera icon. They changed them a little bit. So that's interesting. And I will make some videos for some changes if there is something really like something really important to show you but that's how you update from android that's how you update your samsung galaxy s23 ultra from android 14 to android 15 from android from one ui 6.1 to one ui 7 it's updated and it's ready to use even though it might finish some tasks in the background the phone is ready to use it got a little bit warm, a little bit hot, but not much, especially because it's charging right now. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you not worry about your update process on your Samsung phone. Thanks for watching.